Good evening, this is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel to continue on my part series, The Week This The Week That Was College Football History Review, the 1970 College Football Season. Um, 1970 college football season. This is week 11. The games are played on November 21st, 1970. Let's get into it. Penn State, number 20 team in the country, beat Pittsburgh 35-15. Scoring all its 35 points in the first half, Penn State cruised over rival Panthers. Lee Lions led after 23 seconds as Pitt running back Dennis Ferris lost the ball on game's first snap. Penn State defensive back George Landis recovered that Panther 23 yard line. Halfback Joel. Mitch scored on first down run. Brian pulled back Franco Havish scored three touchdowns, including 39 yard dash to repel lead to 14 0 in first quarter. Pitts Ferris provided him the score second half, going over from six yard line in the fourth quarter. And the Nick Lyons puts Joe Turner. Yeah. Um, it just, it's so my whole day really has to been to have a challenge to undefeated and have a trophy winner to start off 28 to nothing before all things which couldn't accept you know it it wanted to because of Ivy League rules another locker room trip coach Carl Dispasqua was so distraught that he refused questions called back in January brought a named assistant coach North Carolina Big Duke 59 to 34. back down the call, he closed his North Carolina career with 47 carries, 279 yards, and scored five touchdowns. He called his single single season rushing total of 1,720 yards, set new national record. Blessing seven cows, OJ Simpsons, and 268 marked by 11 yards. Duke led 10 7. Duke led September 7 early in the second quarter. I pulled back Steve Jones, one yard plunge. The Carolina ran off 38 yard straight, straight points in the middle quarters. The Carolina left the quarterback, Paul Miller, attributed 18 yards to the touchdown pass to Anthony Tony Blanchard. He missed the fly into the Gary Stadium as he faked fourth straight handoff to McCauley inside five yard line and took over one yard to score too late. Touchdown that put Carl Hills ahead 21 10. So the type of flip right. This is Anfield, Bradford, Hamilton, Duke, quarterback you know, Leo Hart, all day fun. second him five you know, times. The Hart house, moves two touchdowns and two twin no point conversions. Two twin point conversions and two 24 point rally in the fourth quarter. And I've been dealing with water for a long time. Devils at 5 2. Whether it's the first play we had that or death or a seed crown. As NC State, UNC, North Carolina's victory, more than surprise champion Wake Forest and 5 and 1. Wake Forest playing at night in Houston was defeated 262 long after they realized they had captured the AC championship. Next, number 5, Ohio State beat number 4, Michigan. Got the money for a boiler or a hot water heater. Trust God, amen. Now, I had a boiler go in the middle of winter when I first got the house. 20 to 9. Revenge was on mine of seeing dominate Ohio State. Looking to turn tables on Michigan, which in 1959 took the most painful defeat in Buckeye history. At the exchange of field goals or odd face match penalty during line blocking, only 71 yard in Michigan punt by in punter Paul Storoba, leading to the court. We're going to be very I think it's good. I asked uh, yeah. the sermon for guys to grab 10 to right half time edge as quarterback um, Rex Kern. Five twenty six yard touchdown pass to and Bruce Jane Kasky. But Kern bungled the scoring amen. chance wonderful. late in the second quarter and expel kicker Brad Shane two field goals from Bucks. Hundle huddled us the riding coach. Woody Hayes Kern through short pass to fullback John Brockington. He was tackled and bounced to end half. This unnoticed illegality made Michigan coach Bo Schimbecker live it. There's no way you can go into the huddle and come out without running a play. Michigan and Star Roba caught third quarter touchdown pass. 13 yards from quarterback. Down more with the Royal Wings missed to within 10 7. That put out his defensive back on Tim Anderson for the ninth quarter. Michigan kicking down. Dana Coins, time kick, 
United States, Brian Dane, which enjoyed a stand of 22 yards to 37 yards advantage. Dominated fourth quarter as had back Leo Haley, had 117 yards rushing, a touchdown, 20 carries. Top Shams, second quarter with a four yard touchdown run. Now holding, impressive, 27 and one record over the last three years. What guys look to capture the second national title in three years for remarkable recruiting class on the 66 when they were to meet Stanford and the Rose Bowl? Northwestern, number 18 team in the country, beat Michigan State 23 to 20. As Northwestern struggled off upset attempt by Michigan State and completed its best Big Ten record at 6 1 since it's posted to Sino Markings next 36. Wildcats kicker Bill Hansek. Open scoring in the first quarter with the school's second longest field goal to date at 45 yards. It was clutch booted in fourth quarter with 37 yards. Field goal that's tied it at 20 20 and 27 yard three point that provided winning margin with 37 seconds to go. So, in between, Northwestern clicked for two touchdowns on pass by newly installed for this game, only to see the tournament Spartans call from 7 0, 17 0, hold to within 17 13 at halftime. 20 to 17 lead in the third quarter. Northwestern halfback Barry Pearson was sprung unattended up middle scene in Michigan State secondary on two occasions in the first half. And it was turned into a touchdown by quarterback Marie Dagno, 31 yards and 64 yards. Passing the French penalty infuriated Wildcats in the second quarter and notched 36 yards against them. And the Southern came, game turned it toward Michigan State at tailback. Eric Allen had 108 yards, two touchdowns, 32 uh, carries. Scored his one first three-yard touchdown. Spartans eight to nine minutes of the third quarter, going 19 plays to Allen, second touchdown, and 27-team lead. For Planisette, enjoyed his kicking heroics. Enough for Weston, fullback Mike Adamley set new Big Ten rushing record. On the last play of the third quarter, Adamley finished with 137 yards and 1,000. 3 yards for the season. Number two, Notre Dame beat. Number seven, Louisiana State, three to nothing. Ferocious classic defensive struggle finally was won by Notre Dame on kicker Scott Hempel's 24 yard field goal with 254 to play. Undersized LSU defense held Notre Dame's nation leading off his 227, which was 313 yards under its average. Fighting Irish runners could call for only 78 yards. 231 yards below their game average. Now, Tigers maintained season long streak of allowing no rushing touchdowns while sacking Irish quarterback Joe Theismann six times. Indicative of prowess of both defenses came early when Irish had back. Denny Allen was belted and let LSU defensive back Jim Early pounced on fumble at Notre Dame 31 yard line. But three plays later, the Tigers were four yards farther from goal line and had to punt. Linebacker, Dick Pickleth. The loop stop, however, surged to the three yard line with fumble recovery. Bayou, Bengals two way, halfback defensive back Tommy Casanova received national acclaim by holding Lisa, Lisa Irish and Tom Gatewood to four catches for 21 yards, receiving none in the second half. On stand up kicker Mark Lumpkin missed two field goals for LSU, including a block by Irish um, defensive end Bob Nieder. Nieder which, after Notre Dame, Mr. Back, Mike Crotty's return, and Gatewood's spectacular fun recovery from hands up for the Tigers at Notre Dame's 26 yard line. Set stage for punter Jim Yoder's punt that pin LSU at his own one yard line, resulting in good field position at the Tigers' punt from their end zone lead led to Hempel's winning field goal and late going. Nebraska, the number three team in the country, beat Oklahoma by a score of 20 to 21, 2021. Cornhuskers stretched their unbeaten record to 18 in a row, but had struggled with Oklahoma. Quarterback Jack Milligan's five-yard touchdown run tell back Joe Wiley's 37-yard touchdown sprint gave soon second quarter leads of 7-0, 7-0 in 14 for Nebraska. Now that at halftime on halfback, Joe Aduna's three-yard touchdown run with 7.42 to go. Nebraska quarterback Jerry Taggy scoring across for one yard to provide 28-21 lead, but took defensive back. Jimmy Anderson's end zone interception to preserve the win and coached by the Vaney's six Big 8 championship in nine years. Arkansas, the number 16 in the country, beat Texas Tech. The number 19 team in the country, 24 to 10. 
The state died of weak sister Texas Tech. He did upset Razorback to stay within its reach of the Southwest leaders, Southwest Conference leaders, Arkansas and Idaho, Texas. Hogs tail back John Richardson sub for injured Bill Barnett. Scored three touchdowns, including his second quarter plunge to creek 3 3 tie. Read Red Raiders of Texas Tech. The Red Raiders of Texas Tech failed to find pay dirt until they trailed 24 to 3 in the fourth quarter and tell back Doug McCutcheon uh, blessed nine yards for Texas Tech to score. Colorado beat number 10 Air Force 49-19. Falcons were caught peeking at bowl vis as unpredictable. Colorado rolled up 357 yards offense in the first half for overall 482 yards offense. Led by center Don Popperwell Bikes offensive line dominated smaller front of Air Force as Buffalo was built. 35-7 lead. 35-7. The 62-24 back in open place. And Colorado romped a 42-yard touchdown pass to quarterback Jimmy Bratton, who added a 7-yard touchdown run. Among his 11 carries for 81 yards rushing before being hurt, there was no drop-off with uh, Colorado's uh, quarterback Phil Paul Horned. Who right for 63 yard touchdown and contributed 15 yard touchdown on the ground. Tell back John Keyworth had 124 yards rushing on 18 carries. Also scored twice for Buffaloes. Colorado could have been demoralized early when it took six plays after opening kickoff to drive to Air Force Academy 18 yard line. Without assistance of possessions, Air Force grabbed a surprise 7 0 lead as cornerback Jimmy Smith hit Buffalo's tailback John Torver at 15 yard line and ball squirted toward two open arms of Falcons safety Scott Ham, who galloped 90 yards with mid air fumble. But Buffalo's launch ruined this option runs to build drives of 75, 69, 60, 35, and 83 yards. California defeated Stanford, the number 11 team in the country, 22 to 14. Stanford quarterback Jim Plunkett was days away from claiming Heisman Trophy, but Bay Area rivals Bears could have cared less. Our playing Plunkett was California quarterback Dave Penhall, who threw mostly on a run for 18 of 26 for 231 yards and a touchdown ran for go ahead in sweet touchdown run for 19 14 edge in fourth quarter. Winning touchdown was set up by country rushing pass interference and end zone by against the Indians. Calgary receivers like Jim Brady and Jim Frazier went high with two Cardinal defenders and Stanford defense back Mike Young night down pass. Well, official on scene picked up ball trailing official towards down pin mark penalty marking. Plunkett was no slouch himself, hitting touchdown passes to wide receiver Randy Bataha and halfback Jackie Brown to erase an early 13 0 Bears lead. 14-13 advantage in third quarter. However, Plunkett's big mistake came when he threw pass behind Brown on fourth and three from the Cal nine-yard line midway in the fourth, in the fourth quarter with four Bears ahead by five points. Kicker Ray Worsham had opened scoring with 25-yard field goal, added another three-pointer in the second quarter after a successful onside kickoff. Made 26 yard field goal and last 52 seconds for California. His successes gave Washington date conference career mark for 25 field goals. So that's it for the uh, week 11 of November 21st, 1970. November 21st, let's get the AP polls. November 23rd, Texas was number one, number two, Iowa State, three, Nebraska, four, Notre Dame, five, Arkansas, six, Louisiana State, seven, Tennessee, number eight, Michigan, number nine, Arizona State, 10, Mississippi. 11, Auburn, 12, Air Force, 13, Stanford, 14, Dortmund, 15, Toledo, 16, Georgia Tech, 17, Penn State, and 18, Northwestern, 19, Colorado, and number 20, Washington. So that includes week number 11, the games that were played on November 21st, 1970, week 11. Do uh, a video try to conclude the whole 1970 college football regular season as a whole and, you know, do another video on Thursday to um, get into, you know, the stats and uh, not just the stats, I'll go over that tomorrow, but go over the bowl games that were played 
on on third that was played the bowl games. I'll go over that recap on Thursday. But tomorrow we'll try to con conclude the whole regular season, the, la the end of the regular season, with the next two weeks in a row, back to back weeks, week 12 and week 13. I believe that because this is week 11 that I talked about for November 21st, 1970. Please like and subscribe and comment on the channel. Do be able to smack it to tomorrow. Till then, talk to you soon.